What's up? I'm Billy Bolt. We're at Iron City Motorcycles in my home city of Newcastle. We've got a lovely new Husqvarna Northern Expedition. Let's go and take it for a spin. Look at that skyline, blue, beautiful. Football stadium out there, look. There it is, time bridge, get up. And we're right underneath it, yeah. Look at that, very beautiful. Swing bridge, I think this one's called. Oh, gets no better. Goodbye, We're here at St James's Park, home of Newcastle United. If you're from these parts, it's pretty likely you're going to be a big fan of Newcastle United. So I've obviously chosen more bikes, but football was a big part of my life, especially my childhood. So I'm going to go and check it out, have a little tour, I think, see what's inside. Nah, no, sick. Bad boy. The last game I came to was Lars on Boxing Day and we lost. Sort of there. That was a pretty poor day. Me and my granddad used to come on a weekday evening and we used to actually used to sit up here at level seven, so got a lot of memories of that. Well, when the game's playing, you walk out, especially at night time, there's more of a buzz about it, but you walk out here and the noise is madness. Absolute madness. No, I am still a fan, to be honest. It's, you can't really not be. You know, I would like to come to more games, but it's usually quite a big effort to get to the games I do come to, but I would like to try and get to more. It is special. It always will be special. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Make good track on here, couldn't you? That would be a rude boy. One day, one day. See if we can do us progress in such a rapid way. We'll be here in five years' time. Football Stadium was nice. Let's go and take a trip down memory lane. We're still the wrong side of the river. I come from the top side, the proper side. Segedunum this is, this is from the Romans. I don't know that much about history. And my granddad bro is here. If you know about the, the Romans, quite famous. Julius Caesar and that. Oh, this is the wall, that's why it's called Wall's End. I missed that part out, this is where Adrian's wall ended because it went across the country to keep Scotland out, them naff people from up north. So there's a field when I was a kid. That's where I used to do my speed runs. That was a bit more open space on that one. They gave it 10 now. Now. So this was my motocross track. I can't even barely see it sunk now. There's like a drain sticking out of the ground that was me jump. He's probably hit that 10 million times. Probably quite frowned upon to ride more bikes in there these days, but thankfully back in the day, Police actually used to come and watch us when they used to hide around in there when I was a kid. I remember a few times there was like two policemen would just come and stand there and watch. Good times, good times. No, well, like it's literally just around the corner from my house, so if I, when the few occasions I do come home, I usually walk the dog in it or bring my sister on a bicycle. This is my jump. I'm going to go show you my massive jump. It definitely used to be bigger than, well, it did used to be bigger than this because I used to get air off it. I'm sure I used to go this direction. It was where I built in to get air time off that manhole. This was the drop I went off on the pedal bike. Didn't there used to be so many trees. Apparently, I can't actually remember that one, but my mother tells us every time I walk past it that I nearly killed her and killed myself riding down there. I remember when I was a bit older, I used to ride along the wall on my little twelves bicycle. When I got to probably, I don't know how old, but two, when my bikes were too big and noisy to be able to ride here, I was forced to only ride a bicycle, so I had a trials pedal bike, which I spent like every evening from finishing school until bedtime riding around on. I had like some sections and logs and stuff in the garden and then used to come here and break all the park benches and get chased out by security. Good times. I, I can actually remember vaguely this when I was on a quad still. 
I used to go and crash into them bushes on purpose and put my hands in the air and shout crash. And I used to go and watch the speedway like every Sunday afternoon while we were watching speedway and stuff. The crashes used to just be my favourite part, so then I wanted to crash her. And all the other parents would be like running over and my mum would just be stood there going, he's fine, he's fine, he's with me. We've got another jump down here. This is track number two. I haven't actually been down here in a long time. I'm going to be really disappointed if this doesn't even look like a jump anymore, like the last one. This one was huge. Oh, you can't even see it. It was here. That was it. This is my takeoff. I've got a picture on my phone of this one. No footer. Button as a freestyler. Remember, you used to cross the footpath. You used to just give it a whirp, like a little seat bounce, maybe like a little super enduro style jump, like whirp. And I think that corner was just the other side of these trees, to be fair. I'm not sure I had a few corners I used to like. This is a track map, and this is how we used to come and watch us. We had, we had a sparrow hawk, some linnets, field ball. He's a cute fellow, isn't he? I remember them all. They all used to come out and cheer us on. My imagination was strong back then. I, I, I used to finish riding, right? This, I used to finish riding, I'd go home, I'd get the garden hose pipe and I'd stand on the wall and I'd pretend I was on the podium spraying champagne. That's no word of a lie. I'd, I'd do champagne every night. I was as factory back then as I am now in my imagination. And honestly, I've got vivid memories. I remember I used to be like on my knees spraying the hose pipe out. That's mad, actually. To be fair, that's got us a bit uru. But yeah, my imagination was pretty strong back then. Uh, do interviews with myself, like, and I'd talk like a foreigner trying to speak English. I'd pretend I was like Valentino Rossi speaking broken English. Had a little speedway race around the uh, bottom of my grandma's garden, and it's in like an oval, so that was like the speedway track. I'd do four laps of, and then I'd go back in, I'd leave the garage door open, so I'd go back in the pits, and I'd like take my goggles off and throw them against the wall like I was having a tantrum that I had a bad race. And I can like uh, do that like all night until and then it'd be like pitch black. But I did I never quite realised how much I actually used to imagine it. <laughs> no, I know that I knew this one was still in circulation somewhere. Because <laughs> you used to get up to really get opposite lock well on this one. I remember the grip was broke, but it used to be able to do it like a throttle. That's so sick. <laughs> you know I was young because it was before I discovered stickers. Every bike, every bike after this, I think, we just had stickers everywhere. Yes, my speedway track. There used to be a bench here. My granddad used to sit here and watch us. Oh, sometimes that was like me gravel trap, you know, like on a, road, on a road racing circuit. It's just gravel in it. So I used to roll through the gravel. What a ripping weirdo. And then this was the podium on this step lock, but it was a bit tight. So do this. There's this one. My other grandma's had a better podium, but this has a better track because it had an oval. So depending on which grandparent had been sent to look after us for the day depended on the race situation or scenario, but most of them always resulted in the top step of the podium. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen the ends, I think we should head to the stage and see what we've got in store for this weekend. Stop on Bill's magical bike ride. Right, we're here, Utila Arena, where the magic is going to happen this weekend. Yeah, there we are. The 
the floor is bigger than I remem remembered, to be honest. Well, the seating area is smaller, but the floor is actually bigger than I remembered. So what's your plan? You're going to go straight to the bottom, and then you're going to go to half, or you're going to go all the way back to the bottom again. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that'll be good. At least at the moment, I'm in quite a good mindset as the fact I'm here to do a job. Maybe I'll get here and see so many other people and start freaking out and go mental, but no, I think I can do, I'm going to do quite a good job of, of enjoying the moment for what it is, but also, you know, understanding that I'm, I'm here to do a race just like I've done six other times so far this championship. Yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster season so far, to be honest. I mean, results wise, and I guess if you look on paper, it looks probably fairly smooth, but there's been definitely quite a few bumps, obviously. Kind of managed the injury as best I could, but I think, you know, as a team and with the people I have around us, we've, you know, made good decisions and, and allowed us to perform, I wouldn't say at my best, but good enough each time I've, uh, I've had to arrive at a race and race. So, um, yeah, definitely, I wouldn't say I'm particularly healthy or anywhere near 100%, but I I'm, I'm feel ready and I'm confident that I, can, uh, that I can perform on Saturday. The fact we've got a race in the UK, period, is pretty cool, but then just the fact, you know, it's like stones throw from my hometown and like in the middle of the city, um, just the whole location is, is pretty mad. I think for most people, it's probably quite difficult for them to really understand just kind of what it means but for people that's from this area and like people are quite proud of of me and what I've done and I'm obviously proud to be from here so it's yeah it's going to be a pretty special night of racing that's for sure.